did you ever think why there is a square instead of cube or to the power 4 why today I am going to explain up to my capability to make you understand through some of the readings of the forces I am not going to find out any value but here with the help of some of the readings I am going to explain how it happens and how the force depends on the masses of the two bodies and how and what type of force what is the nature of the force between the two bodies and as well as what happens when there is an increase in distances between the two bodies here based on that only I am going to show you that's one as what is Newton's universal law of gravitation hello dear friends once again welcome back to my channel scientific phenomenal facts आज का मेरा टॉपिक है न्यूटन्स का यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन को लेके कि न्यूटन का जो यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन है वो क्या है और उसका अंदर का जो फैनमेनन है उसको मैं एक्सपेरिमेंटली कुछ हद तक दिखाने का कोशिश कर करूँगा आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ द न्यूटन्स यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन इट वर्कस Here, let you see. First of all, what Newton's universal law of gravitation says that everybody in this universe attracts each other with a force. Here, everybody in this universe attracts each other. Each other they have mentioned. So it means both the bodies they attract. Each other, not only one body attracted by other body. Here, both the body exerts force towards each other. So let us see. Here, suppose two bodies. This is A. This body is B. These are the centers of both the bodies. Here, this is the distance of the body. And that is denoted by the symbol R. Let us consider. Now, here, this body, let us take mass M. And this body, let us take mass, small m. There is a force of attraction between these two bodies. And both the bodies attract each other. Now see, by how much strength this body A and this body B exerts force of attraction towards each other. Here, both the bodies attract each other by what? Let you see. This body attracts this body B with the force F. And the body M also attracts the body A with the same magnitude as both attracts each other. And where there is the force of attraction between two bodies, then their magnitude becomes same. Suppose if the mass of this body is twice then the magnitude of both the bodies will be, the force will be twice F. And if the mass of the, this body it is thrice, then this force, the magnitude of the force of attraction between the two bodies also becomes thrice F. This is the magnitude 
of the force of attraction between the two bodies when two bodies attract each other by their force now if we increase the size of this body if we make the mass of this body be double then the magnitude of the force will be same double both gets attracted by the same magnitude because it is in case of the force of attraction between them now let, let's see how the force of attraction it depends on the mass of the bodies come let's see here i have taken some of the magnets here already i have measured the mass of the magnets with the help of beam balance here why i have selected the example of magnet don't you know here as per the universal law of gravitation that uh, everybody in this universe attracts each other if there is attraction then we can take the example of magnet magnet has the property to attract and to repel but uh, if we consider the pole of attraction for the other body if we place the unlike poles then it will attract each other so that technique we are going to apply here let us see let i have already measured the mass of each of the magnets here this magnet it is having mass of 224 gram and this magnet it has the mass of 222 almost same and this small magnet it has the mass of 93 g and this magnet it has the mass of 12 g now let us see how the force depends on the mass come let's see here let us place this magnet at 7 cm now let you see at which distance at how much distance this body experience force to each other these are the readings here with the help of this readings we can able to understand the force depends on the mass of the bodies here it is 14 14 cm it is 13 here in 13 cm yeah let us see here in 13 cm this body will get attracted by this magnet here it is starting point 5 Now here when it reached at 13 cm then it gets attracted by this body they ex both of them exerts force of attraction to each other Now instead of this magnet if we use this small one which is having the mass of 93 g now at how much distance this will get attracted by this that is the force of attraction would at the same 7 cm this body is placed now this body here in the first example both of them experience force of attraction 
when they reached at 13 cm. Now here for this body, here mass as mass decreased. Now see. Here already we have crossed 13 cm. Here it is 12.5. Here it is 12.25. When it reached at 12, both of them got force of attraction. At 12. So from that activity, what we came to know? We came to know that gravitational force is directly proportional to the mass of the first body and that very gravitational force of attraction it also directly proportional to the mass of the second body now here when the mass of the body increases then the force of attraction between them also increases. But now, what type of force it is? Did you thought what type of force that one? It is not like that. One body it is at rest, other body is coming towards that body. It is not like that. Here both the body ex exerts force of attraction towards each other. That is accelerated force. That is accelerated force. So here, the force of gravitation, it depends on the masses of both the bodies. If the mass of the bodies increases, then the force, the magnitude of the force also increases for both the bodies. But it remains the same. The magnitude, for, the magnitude of the force of attraction for both the bodies remains the same. Here, from Newton's universal law of gravitation, what did we know? that everybody in this universe attracts each other with a force and that is accelerated force. Now here, and that very force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. How it is product? Here, for gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. How there is product? Why you did not use here plus or minus? Because it is an accelerated force. Here both the bodies, they exert force of attraction towards each other. That's why the force, it accelerates. That very increase in the force of attraction is accelerated pattern. So, due to accelerated force of attraction, we are using product. Here, the force multiplies. Here, one concept clear. That force depends on the masses of both the bodies. Now, here, the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Here, product is because of accelerated force of attraction between the two bodies as the, both the bodies get attracted towards each other. Now, second part is that very force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Here, the force of attraction it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Why there is square? Why there is no cube or to the power 4 or to the power 5 on the distance? For that, also I am going to show you simple demonstration with the help of the attractive objects that is magnet. Here we will use the attractive poles, the unlike poles of the magnet to let us understand clearly. Here let you see, if both the bodies attract each other, then they have some strength to attract other bodies, no? This body has some strength or we can say gravitational field.
to attract another body. This body also has gravitational field or you can say magnetic field to attract another body. From that statement, from that law, we came to know that. Yeah, already it is there in the law that everybody in this universe attract each other. If they attract each other, then they must have the gravitational field or you can say magnetic field. Now, here, when the distance increases, now let me show you simple demonstration as well. So here one point is clear that force of gravitation it depends on the distance between the two bodies. Am I right? So let me show you how it happens. So already we have performed this demonstration. Now let me show you before this body both this body exerts force of attraction towards each other and that very attraction we have observed when both of them were in 13 centimeter distance from each other here it is 14 now one second let you see here it is at 13 it gets attracted now if from here if we go on increasing if we go on increasing the distance if we go on increasing the distance how the force decreases here let you see the force of attraction is less less little little is there here you see little is there a little a little little a little no a little no here you see so by what magnitude this force decreases with the increase in distance it is also depends so from this demonstration what did we what we came to know that here if this body or this body if they their distance increases from hair to hair, then the gravitational field, it is far away from each other. Here we can denote the same distance for their displacement. We can't consider the same distance for both the bodies. Because the distance increases, it, this is the symbolic representation of the distance. But the phenomenal one is here this body got displaced. Here also with the same magnitude of the displacement that is R for the increase in distance. As due to here the force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the product of the increase in distance. Here this double R means increase in distance and here this product it indicates accelerated force of gravitation with respect to the accelerated force of gravitation in case of the product of the masses. That's why here we are writing F directly proportional to m m by r square now let you see if we go on converting this proportional sign into equal sign now here product of the masses by square of the distance now what change we need to put as all of us know that proportion and equal both are different so here let you see we have performed these activities or this demonstration here in this earth 
here on the earth. Let us consider this earth is the universe and in this universe these two bodies attract each other. And here we are putting here the constant as E. Why E? Because if we consider earth to be the universe and this and the two magnets are the two bodies which attract each other with the force. So this earth will be the gravitational constant. It can be denoted by any symbol. We can use here the symbol G. Here G is the gravitational constant. Now here, let us see if we want to prove why there is a square on earth. Now if we are going to prove why the force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Why there is square? Mathematically it is difficult for us and in various concepts also it is found to be not correct. Let me show you how. If we consider the earth and our moon, uh, this one is the orbit of the moon, this one is the center of the earth, this one is moon. If both get attracted to each other, this moon, it gets attracted towards the center of the earth, that is called centripetal force. Here the, here the orbitary radius of the moon is r. From that concept and from the concept of the orbitary, concept of the moon and from the concept of centripetal acceleration of the moon we got acceleration inversely proportional to the square of the distance but uh, in newton's second law of motion f is equal to m a and from the concept of newton's second law of motion some are making this way f directly proportional to the acceleration here if let us consider if x f directly proportional to the acceleration then it doesn't mean It does not mean F inversely proportional to the square of the distance. It does not mean that. Here, here F is not equal to A. If F wants to equal to A, then there must be one constant. That constant, it denies that if A inversely proportional to the square of the distance and on other concept F directly proportional to A, it doesn't mean that F is equal to A. It doesn't mean that. It is proportional. Proportional means both react the same. If one increases, then other one also increases if it is directly proportional. If inversely proportional, both react the same, but in reverse way. 
If one increases with the same strength, with the strength, with the same strength, the other one will decrease us. That is inverse mechanism. Now here, how this proportion, it, it, it denies this fact. Now let me erase this one. How proportion and equal are not same. Let, let us see production. directly proportional to the outcome. Now let us consider 20 directly proportional to 10, 40 directly proportional to 20, Here 60 directly proportional to 30. Always it reduces by this. Here, now, the outcome if we take, can 20 equal to 10? Can 40 equal to 20? Or 60 equal to 30? No, it's not equal. In order to make it equal, we must have to take the help of one constant. That is here, 2 tens are 20. So I had 2. In this case, 2. Here also we need to take the help of 2 as constant. As constant. Same thing happened. When, if we want to express like this way, A inversely proportional to R square and F directly proportional to the acceleration, then F based on this reference, F inversely proportional to R square, it is not correct. Here, in order to make f equal to a, we must need one constant. And this constant is this two here. So there is wide range of difference between proportion and equal. So I hope I was able to make you understand about the universal law of gravitation. If you understood, then please keep watching my channel. Thank you.